everybody it's a wednesday it's wednesday it's wednesday this is one of the most exciting exciting wednesdays for me in october i can't wait to tell you guys why we're studying celiac disease as a major topic on today you know that's in your quick facts book tell me the page of what it is i don't have my book with me right now but I know that you know the page of celiac disease. Hey, everybody, it's Winning Wednesday. And listen, check this out. This is the time to like Remar. If you have not liked me on the Remar Facebook page, I need for you guys to do it because we are about to do some amazing giveaways. Amazing giveaways. Oh, you love my hair. I usually, you know, I usually don't have my hair out, but somebody said it is the season for your hair being out. So I have it out. Um, but like me on Facebook because we are about to do some amazing giveaways. Like literally, they will blow your mind. We have some special events coming up. If you see the skeleton in the background and you've been rocking with Remar, you know what I'm about to announce. But yes, that's happening. But again, in order for you to get into all the new Remar stuff that I'm releasing soon and the events that we have coming up, smash that like button okay on the facebook page i want to see that number going up all right here it is okay my facebook page is remar for nclex here it is okay this is the month of october put it in the comments if you know what i have coming up it is scary topics scary topics the date is approaching fast you don't want to miss this this is my free NCLEX review on the scariest topics for NCLEX. You can sign up for scary topics right now by going to remarnurse.com forward slash scary. And this is the first time I've ever done this with scary topics. Scary topics usually is like one day. Scary topics is three days. Uh, this, oh my goodness, it's a three day event starting October 23rd. And listen, when you guys sign up the workbook, is already ready. It's ready for you. You will get the workbook. So anyways, let me just make this big so you can set your calendar. Scary Topics is October 23rd, October 24th. Check these times. And then October 25th. So three-day Scary Topic workbook is, all, is out already. So sign up for it at remarnurse.com forward slash scary. And you do have to print this work, workbook out to class. Workbook is going to look like this. And um, so the topics, when you open it up, this is the schedule. So you guys can see the topics that we will be going over during the three days. One of the three days is a game night, as you love to do. And we are going over some great stuff. There's also a pre-test that I want you to do before Scary Topics class. So uh, this is the pre-test. All right, so print this out. I just printed it out on my printer. Angela says, I printed the workbook out already. Oh my goodness. And so also I think what I'm going to do is I will also, no, sign up for it. That's what, that's what you need to do. Sign up for it. So you won't miss anything that I have going on. Remarnurse.com forward slash scary. All right. And then when you sign up for it, we will actually send you the workbook. So that's why I'm saying I'm trying to communicate this. And again, if you don't know where to go, sign up for scary topics, remarnurse.com forward slash scary. And it seems like a lot of you guys already have this workbook printed out. So um, shout out to Team Remar for somehow giving you this info early. But yes, this is the October event. And that's why I say like the Facebook page because we're going to be doing giveaways all oh, the season that is coming up, holiday season, holiday season. So anyhow, tonight is celiac disease. And this, of course, is, oh, hey, Tiffany, look, I got a testimonial. Let me read this to you. This is going to motivate somebody. I passed my NCLEX on my first try October 9th of this year with your program. Congratulations, Tiffany. Nurse Tiffany, you did it. I'm so proud of you. Um, Hillary says, I took my exam Monday. So we have Tiffany and you have Hillary. She is letting us know I took my exam Monday and I passed. Thank you so much for your program. Official Remar nurse. Official Remar nurse. And I want to shout out to Paulette who says, I printed 10 of them. 
and gave them to my classmates. I can't wait to see you there. Um, then Paulette, please let me know on the first day that you're back and I will spotlight you for inviting people to Scary Topics. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Scary Topics will be dropped. And again, you never experienced our Remar events. This will be the um, a great opportun opportune time for you to do that. All right, let's get into celiac disease. And we're going to go over our fundamentals per usual. So I have, and I'm so happy to see you. I really am. I'm really so happy that you're here. I have, you love it. This is the, this is our fundamentals clipboard. So we can go over and make sure that we are starting everything off on the same page. All right. So are you ready? We're talking about celiac disease. Another name for celiac disease is celiac sprue. Can anybody tell me what the trigger source is? This is the most important thing. If you want to be a nurse, and you want to have your license, and you want to be able to do education, okay, on a basic level, what is the trigger for celiac disease? What are we telling our patient to avoid? I see it. You guys are ready on Wednesday. Monday can be tough, but Wednesdays, you guys are ready. We are telling our patient to avoid gluten. We are telling our patient to avoid gluten. Oh, wait, okay. I got to pause because this is just phenomenal. Let me read this testimonial. Thank you. You guys read it with me. Let's read it together. Thank you, Nurse Regina. I took my exam on Saturday, stopped at 85. That's the minimum for anybody that needs to know. This is the least amount of questions that you have to answer. I am officially a Remar nurse. I told my friends about your program. Thank God and Regina, it would not be possible without God in your V2 program. Listen, at 85 questions, if your test shuts off, that means that you are so far above that confidence interval, like you are so far above the passing rate that the test decided, I don't need to give you any more questions. You are a safe nurse. And so that's the goal. That's the goal for all of us to be a safe nurse. Tina, I see you. you're taking your exam tomorrow. We are all praying for Tina. We're going to be thinking about you positively, and we're going to be making sure that we lift and support you tomorrow. Okay. All right, let's get back into it. So you had it right. Okay. Our trigger is gluten. Now, this is a very important point. When we talk about celiac disease, which systems are affected? I'm looking for I'm looking for more than one. Give me one system that will be affected with celiac disease. And honestly, if you know the systems that are affected, it helps you to understand the treatment and it helps you to understand complications that you can uh, that you can have. So first system, do I see it? Mm -hmm. First system is GI. I see GI in the comments. Give me another one. Okay, that's one. Somebody says endocrine. No, not endocrine. Gastrointestinal system. Uh, system. What's another one? What kind of issue is celiac disease? Mm. See, I, I didn't. I knew that we weren't gonna. Uh, we might struggle here. Second is why is all of this happening? Why? All right. Immune system, okay? So this is a GI and an immune system issue. And this makes sense, okay? If we know this, that this is an immune response, then we'll be able to answer this question. And this is how I need you to think about NCLEX, okay? When we talk about immune problems, who are immune, autoimmune problems more common in? What population? When you think about, and I want you to think about other immune problems, you have to be able to do that. This is where content comes in. What are some other immune system problems and who most likely gets these problems? Good stuff, good stuff. Um, immune system pro problems, the elderly, mm, not so much, no. Okay, so other immune system problems, I see it, lupus is an immune system problem. What else do we have? Black people, mm, well, kind of. Let's start with 
let's start with doing the immune system problem. Lupus. What about uh, what about rheumatoid arthritis? What about that? Okay. So we typically mm -hmm, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus. So we typically are going to see celiac disease. If we think about it, and when I show this, you guys are going to be like, ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right. We typically see in this population, in women, women are more likely to have autoimmune disorders. So you think about lupus, right? When you think about rheumatoid arthritis, all right? When you think about celiac disease, I want you to think women, women, okay? What is our diet? What is our diet? Know what? What is the easy acronym? Like if you know this acronym, you are going to be a, at a good starting place. Now I wrote, did I write some, diff, I wrote some difficult questions tonight. I wrote some very difficult questions about celiac disease. This is a easy, this is easy. All right. Know what, what does brow stand for? No barley, no rye no oats, no wheat, because what is it? What are we worried about? We're worried about the gluten. Now, let me just tell you a point. All right. Barley, barley is a grain. Okay. Um, gluten. Rye has gluten in it. Wheat has gluten in it. A lot of the foods that we eat in America are going to be wheat based. Oats, oats naturally though, don't have gluten in them. They don't naturally have gluten in them. But the reason is because when oats are processed, gluten is added to it typically. Typically, oats get exposed to gluten as we process it for commercial things, right? So in general, even though maybe some oats may be gluten-free, we have to teach our, our patients to avoid oats altogether, okay? Just avoid oats altogether. And I'm telling you this because I know in real life, you will have a patient that will say oats don't have gluten in them, okay? And if you don't know why you have to tell them to avoid oats, you're going to be standing there looking kind of incompetent, right? And you will have a response for that because if you Google are oats gluten-free, they're going to say, yes, oats are gluten-free. But we got to be able to say still can't have them. Okay. Still can't have them. So let us now move into our formal lecture. Good review, guys. Good review. We are talking about celiac disease. I'm so happy that you're here. As we stated previously, this is an autoimmune disorder. Another term for this on your NCLEX could be celiac spew, sprue. And this is essentially an immune reaction to eating gluten. Gluten is a protein. So no, let me just make sure I'm clear in case nobody didn't get it. We're saying no to oats. All right. So this is the diet. No barley, rye, oats, or wheat. Okay. I was just explaining why oats made the list. Okay. All right. They made it. Very popular. Very popular. Um, one in 100 people have this worldwide. If your parents have it, you have a one in 10 risk of having it yourself. Very limiting condition. On assessment, we're going to see acute or insidious diarrhea, stetoteria. So we're going to see fat in the diarrhea. We're going to see anorexia. Patients are going to complain of abdominal pain and distension because when they eat something with gluten, they're going to have a very aggressive immune response to it and it is not gonna be a walk in the park. Patients will have due to malabsorption and malnutrition, they're gonna have their muscle wasting. When you don't have enough fat in your body, you don't have enough, um, yeah, essentially fat, you're gonna start breaking down protein, and then that is going to get into your muscles. And uh, vomiting, anemia, and irritability. A celiac crisis, essentially is a medical emergency that you can also see. NCLEX can say your patient presents with celiac crisis. This is just in, uh, precipitated by uh, fasting, infection, or ingestion of gluten, which can cause watery diarrhea and vomiting that is irretractable or profuse, difficult for the patient to stop on their own. And so whenever we think about essentially water loss, 
we have to understand that rapid dehydration, electrolyte imbalances, and acidosis can creep up on your patient. This is also very emotionally um, involved and it can cause anxiety for your patient. So emotional disturbance will be there. When we look at the symptoms, we are looking at weight loss, fatigue and weakness, abdominal pain and bloating, talked about uh, loose stools, statoria, flagellants. Also, the signs physically are going to be mouth ulcers, stomachitis, abdominal distension. You may have some bruising, muscle wasting, and neuropathy present. Check this full uh, review out also in your Quick Facts book. Celiac disease is very interesting because there are a lot of long-term complications if the diet is not followed strictly. And they are not all related to the gastrointestinal system. So I want to challenge you as I read off the long-term complications to make the connections to why these complications are happening if you don't naturally know it. So the long-term complications of celiac disease where you have this intestinal a gastrointestinal issue is it will start to affect your bones. You can have osteomalacia. Mm -hmm. You can also have anemia. You can have malnutrition, nervous system problems, reproductive system problems. Mm -hmm. Some rare complications are adenocarcinomas, liver damage. You can have cirrhosis or liver failure and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. We have actually talked about all of these. We've talked about adenocarcinomas in our cancer lecture. We have done uh, we've done liver damage. We've done that, and we've also done non-Hodgkin's lymphoma as well. Go back here. When we're doing our investigations. Our diagnosis, we are looking at if there's any family history of digestive disorders. We are also looking at a physical examination, noting things such as weight loss, failure to thrive or growth problems, skin rashes, definitely looking at an abdominal assessment. And our laboratory investigations are going to be a blood test, doing a biopsy, mm -hmm. skin biopsies as well if the patient has a rash. And then also genetic testing, genetic testing. What other medical issues might a client with celiac disease face? All right. So we have, um, and, and, and try to think about this. I'm going to tell you guys the answer, but why would a person with celiac disease also be predisposed to type 1 diabetes? Thyroid conditions, Hashimoto's disease, Graves' disease, Addison's, hyperparathyroidism. What is what is up with these diseases? Selective immunoglobulin A deficiency, rheumatic disease, or liver disease. What is the connection? What is the connection that NCLEX wants you to make with these conditions in celiac disease? How are they all similar? It's very, very common, okay? And yes, it is because these are all autoimmune conditions. Listen, type 1 diabetes, what is the body doing? It is destroying, right? It is destroying the important cells that make insulin. Yes, all right? Um, thyroid disorders, autoimmune, okay? Rheumatic diseases. Yes, yeah, so I want you to be able to make that connection between celiac disease and autoimmune disorders. It's going to be very helpful to you. It's going to help you stay so calm during your NCLEX. The treatment. Ah, if you have celiac disease, your diet is going to be very basic. Gluten, protein found in mostly all grains, including wheat, barley, oats, and rye. Gluten is added to so many products that are on the shelf. Woo, man. So consuming gluten is what triggers this abnormal system reaction. 
All right. And it damages the small intestines and your small intestines are so important. Is there anybody on tonight that has celiac uh, disease? Anybody on here that is, uh, you know, living a life gluten free, living a life gluten free. So our nursing interventions are going to be maintaining the gluten free diet. We have to teach this, especially parents who have children, because if you don't keep this condition uh, under control, you're going to have some long term complications. So we're going to get into some questions in just a minute. So substitution. Even though you can't have gluten, you can have corn and rice as grain sources, and also millet grain can be given. Instruct the parents, this is a long-term, lifelong thing. Um, administer mineral and vitamin supplements, including iron, folic acid, and fat-soluble vitamins, ADEC, which are A, D, E, and K. Inform parents about the Celiac Sprue Association for community and also teach them if they don't follow the diet, there are possible long-term complications. So lots of teaching with celiac disease. Registered nurses and practical nurses, you need to be proficient to do this. Let's get into some questions. We are moving today. Question number one. The nurse is assisting a mother who recently learned that her child has celiac disease. She is teaching her to read food labels. Which of the following ingredients should the mother avoid feeding her child? Select three that apply. Okay. Number one, wheat. Two, millet. Three, corn. Four, malt. Five rye. Okay, we're talking about we're talking about three that the mother should avoid giving her child. What do we say? I see a lot of people saying one, two, and five. I see a lot of people saying one and five, but you got to pick three because it literally says select three that apply. <laughs> All right, correct answer. And see here, one, four, and five. Good job. Are you feeling good about this? Are you feeling good about yourself? People who are testing this week feel good. You've been showing up for class. One, four, and five should be avoided. Okay, let's go on. I got some challenging questions here. So let's go. Let's get in. Let's get into it. Question number two. Four patients arrive in the emergency department simultaneously. Shout out to my ED nurses. Which of the following patients should the nurse prioritize for immediate assessment and intervention? Okay. Number one, a client with a history of migraine headaches with the current migraine. Two, a client with known celiac disease with abdominal pain and diarrhea. Three, a client with a history of diabetes and a blood glucose level of 300. Or four, a patient with a sprained wrist after a fall. Who is our priority? Ah. You got everybody here essentially has a circulation issue. So we can throw out airway. We can throw out breathing. You got four circulation patients. Who is the priority? Priority. Remar nurses. Okay. Priority is going to be, it seems like everybody's on one accord here. And the majority of you guys are picking numero two. The patient with the celiac disease with abdominal pain and diarrhea. And the reason is because we are dealing with maybe an acute exacerbation of their symptoms, but with abdominal pain and diarrhea, we are concerned about water loss and water is a basic living is a basic living requirement. So you can live with pain, but you cannot live with water loss. And let me let me go back cuz some people pick 3, which I I put 3 in as a distractor. So if you pick three, you may have been worried about the client. They have a what though? They have a history 
of diabetes mellitus. So um, typically when you have a history of hyperglycemia, you have compensation mechanisms in place. So 300 might be really, really high to a non-diabetic person, right? But a patient with a history of diabetes, 300 is not, is not that major. Let me tell you, I've had patients who had blood sugars of 1,100, okay? 1,100. So you have to, um, you have to be able to look at what is the worst that my patient, you know, can have. And also what happens to my patient if I don't treat them right now, what happens to that patient? So yeah, yeah. Love these, love these, uh, priority questions here. I have fun on Wednesdays when we get together, share this video. We almost got a thousand nurses we had 969 share this video. There are so many people who are taking NCLEX. Is everybody here taking NCLEX? Everybody here taking NCLEX at some point? This is information that you need to know. And even though there's almost a thousand people here tonight, there are so many other nursing students that are not here that never, they never will go over this point. They never will go over this content if they're just in question banks. All right, let's do another question here. Question number three is question number three for me. A patient with celiac disease presents with severe abdominal, it should say severe abdominal pain, sorry, diarrhea and vomiting. The nurse suspects dehydration. Which action should the nurse prioritize? Now watch this right here. Watch this right here. Number one, administer a dose of morphine for pain. Two, start an IV line to provide intravenous fluid. Okay. Also, three, prepare a high fiber diet to promote regular bowel movements. Or four, administer a proton pump inhibitor stat. Let's say if you guys on this one, let's say if you guys on this one, Got to be safe nurses here and address the patient's concern. Address the patient's concern. Correct answer. I love it when we're on one accord. Most of you are saying number two, and it is indeed. Whenever you have a acute patient here, you have to pick the intervention that is going to solve what is presented in front of you. Yes. The nurse suspects dehydration. When you're taking NCLEX, your brain should light up and you should say they're giving me, especially for next gen. You don't have to go far to look for the condition. They give it to you. They give it to you now. So you just have to know what is my, what is my clinical judgment measurement model to this? What are my nursing priorities, okay, in front of this? This is how you pass. We're all going to pass. We're all going to pass because this is what we do. Okay, question number four. A patient with celiac disease seeks dietary advice to condition effectively. Which of the following food items is the best to include in their diet? Here we go. Number one, whole grain bread. Two, oats. Three, barley soup. Four, quinoa. Let's just keep it safe. Let's just keep it calm, taking your exam, pretend like it's a random Wednesday night and you go with your first mind. Don't get crazy in there. Don't get overcomplicated. Keep it simple, guys. Correct answer is going to be a thousand nurses. We made it. A thousand nurses pick the right answer. Number four, quinoa, okay? Naturally gluten-free. Some people eat quinoa and they're not even celiac. Patients. They just like the taste of it. Don't taste like much to me, but some people love it. It is a nutritious grain that is gluten free. Okay. <laughs> All right. Last question tonight, guys, is this a patient with celiac disease is admitted to the ICU due to dehydration and electrolyte imbalance? The order is to start enteral nutrition 
Which action should the nurse prioritize before starting the, should say therapy? Okay. Number one, assess the patient's allergies. Two, consult with the dietitian about the nutritional plan. Three, begin with available enteral formula. Four, administer a dose of antacids before starting the enteral treatment. Ooh, hey, hey, this one is causing some division in the community. This one right here, I think I saved the best one for last. And it's, oh, when y'all see, when y'all see it. Mm. All right, all right. I see you, Remar nurses. I see the safe nurses. I see the second guessers that's changing their answer. There's only one that's right. There's only one that's right. All right, here we go. So anyways, <laughs> this is next gen NCLEX. This is not your grandma's NCLEX. Next gen NCLEX. The first and most important thing to do in this situation, y'all got to flow. Y'all have to flow with me, is going to be, why did this say number four? It's actually number two. Consulting with the dietitian about the nutritional plan. That's that's actually the right answer, okay? Consulting with the dietitian. And I'm sorry, it should be, that actually was option number two. Option number two. But let's break these other ones down. Let's break these other ones down. Because when we give enteral feeding, okay? When we give enteral feeding, are we giving it with medication? Do we have to assess patient allergies? So if a patient is allergic to penicillin or sulfa or latex, is that going to be the priority here? No, 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 no. Because you never mix enteral feeding with medication, right? Next gen will tell us what we're dealing with. What kind of patient do we have? We have a celiac patient. That's all we need to know about them. They don't need to give us nothing else, but the distractors be distracting. And this is a really good distractor because I put the word assess and you guys saw assess and you went right for it instead of actually reading, okay? So this is why we do this. This is why we show up because even our golden words like airway, like assess, all right, like stack, those can be distractors if the situation doesn't apply. Stay on your content, stay on your grind, keep showing up for, keep showing up for class. Yes, I the best for last for sure. I saved the best, I saved the best for last for sure, which is like we like to do. So check this out. If you guys have, <laughs> if you guys have not ever done a question like this, welcome to Remar Nurses. All of my Remar Nurses, they're in the V2, guys. They are literally in, there's, they're literally in the V2 studying. And so I want to see you there too. But guess what? It gets better on Wednesday because I actually have a Remar nurse and I'm just going to let her tell the story. You guys know, I never schedule this. I never schedule this stuff. And, and the Remar nurses, they just come. They just come. And so I'm so happy to see. Hi. Hi, Regina. How are you? I am so good now. What you doing? <laughs> relaxing for the first <laughs> oh my goodness are you so happy that you passed i am flight? excited oh my god i can't stop telling people about your program I, today i was on two phone calls like telling everybody how good your v2 program and quick facts book is like i just can't stop raving about it okay tell us your story did you just so, take nclex rn rn okay let's go let me hear it so i graduated in april and i started out and I was all over the place. I've bought every program there is out there. And I still, every minute I'm changing my test date because my scores was horrible. And I'm like, there's something got to give. And I keep trying. I'll cry. I pray. I break down every single day. And one day I was on Facebook and I saw you popped up. And I was like, let me buy the quick facts book. I bought the quick facts and I started going through and I took a picture and I sent to my friend. I said, I think this is the program for me because it's breaking it down. It's spoon feeding me. And that's what I needed. Yes. And then a friend of mine was watching your live and then she sent it to me and I started asking questions and my test date was a week away. And I asked the question and you said to me, no, you wouldn't recommend me 
um, taking my test if I'm just starting the program. So I said, you know what? I said, I like the fact that you were honest. I bought the V2 program. I sat down. I printed out the workbook. I went through it. I read it. And I took your first CAT exam and I failed. That's when I just started the program. And I was like, I've been studying since April. Like, mm -hmm. what is going on? And a couple of days before, when I finished your program, I took the CAT exam and I passed it. I think at 85 or something, like or 90 something. And I had all green. And I was like, this is not, <laughs> this can't be true. And I read your notes, did everything, went into my exam. Mm -hmm. And it was the easiest test I've ever taken in my life. What? Your exam, your test questions are Oh my God. I, I was like, where is she getting these questions from? They're so hard. Oh my goodness. Oh my the NCLEX goodness. was a breeze compared to your exam. I, what? I, I swear to you. I came out, I told my family, I was like, that test was so easy. I walked no. out smiling. The, the, the exam cut off and I was like, the, and the practice came over. She was like, you got to do your, um, your survey. I was like, wait, did I just finish this exam? Like, it was just so easy. Like, I was going through, like, it was nothing. Oh, my goodness. I am so... Listen, we got back. We got to back it up. It, it's just so much. I mean, you said it beautifully. Like, if you... But I just have to back it up. So, talk to me. So, you're a new graduate. You're yes. a new graduate. Yes. You graduate in April. Yeah. And did your school not prepare you, you think, for the NCLEX? Like, um... Your, so your testimony, I, I love it. So did you feel like when you graduated from nursing school, you weren't prepared to take the I test? Feel, yes, I, I was not prepared. Honestly, I was not. Why? I don't think. I Honestly, I feel like the t in school, my school was very hard. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like we were just studying just to pass their exam. Mm -hmm. Not really. They didn't prepare us for the next gen, to be honest, because we were still, they were still giving us old gen style, everything. So I was not prepared at all for the next gen. Got it. Got it. So you took the initiative to say, I got to do the next thing. Like I yes. have to do the next thing. Um, did you find that your other classmates were doing the same thing, like doing other reviews or anything like that? Yes. And to be, and to be honest, two of them failed. And I told them, and one of them just purchased your um, program and she loves it so far. Oh my goodness. That's so amazing. Thank you so much. No Thank you problem. so much. So um, did you follow the study calendar in B2? Did you watch all of the videos? I watched How did you all do of it? your videos two times. Okay. And you yes, filled out the I workbook. Loved, and I wrote, the, I wrote down everything in the book and I listened. And after I finished the entire book, I went back and I watched the videos and I studied your book for one week straight. You studied quick facts for one week straight? No, your the workbook and quick facts one week straight, and it was the week of my exam. My exam was a Saturday, and from the Monday to the Friday, and the Friday about twelve o'clock in the day, I was like, I got this. I don't need to study nothing else. So I closed yes. the book, and yes. I just started praying. I started laughing. Everybody in my house was like, "How are you so happy today?" I was like, "No reason," because I told nobody I was going to take the test. <laughs> oh my goodness! Listen, and that's I think when students ask me, "How do I know if I'm ready to take NCLEX?" You literally get this feeling where you're like, "I can't study anymore." Yes. That's it's like it's like a, a saturation. You know, it's like I can't take on another thing. I no, have and that's I how I it. felt. And I was like, you know, I was like, I I knew in myself I was prepared. I knew you your videos i have attention problem i honestly but the fact that your videos were short sweet to the point i was like i i would sit there and watch one whole section because i printed the book and i stapled them in section and i would watch one whole section and not get bored and i'm like this cannot be i was like you're a godsend this cannot be true oh like seriously <laughs> No, I don't listen. If you sat there and did a whole section, you don't have a tension problem at all. You love nursing. Like if you could sit there and listen to it, you love yes. nursing. Oh my goodness. I want to thank you so much. I couldn't have done this without you and God. Honestly, I couldn't. Have, I didn't see my way with them two letters behind my name. I honestly didn't. But you made it possible and God brought you to me, honestly.
so so much i am uh it's a blessing to see your smiling face y'all this is the smile that you want to have this is the joy from inside that yeah. you're done with the test <laughs> but you know what's more imp important and amazing to me that even though you're done you didn't just cast us to the side like you no. came out and was and, yes. and let everybody know that hey i did it and you can do it so yeah i need you to tell them i need you to say it I can, I will give it to him. I can and I will. And Rima will get you there. Just watch her videos by her program, her V2, her quick facts. And I guarantee you, you will get there. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. For You're coming. welcome. Thank you so much again. God bless. Bye. God bless you. Bye-bye. It gets so much better tonight. This is truly a winning Wednesday. <sighs> what more can I ask for? I don't know. Maybe another Rima or no. Here, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. I can hear you just fine. So, tell us where do you come from? What is going on? I am from California. Um, but I have to say this you went from I don't know if you guys look at these talk shows, I look at Kelly and Ryan or her husband in the morning or whatever. So, in my mind, she's like my best friend, right? So, that's you now, too. So I'm like, is it Professor Regina? Okay, remember to call her Professor because I feel like we worked so hard for those titles and these exams. And then I'm like, okay, Miss Regina, oh, Remar. It's so tough. It's so tough. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna go through all that, I'm sure. There's those different names as we um, speak tonight. Um, so my journey, is that kind of it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's up. Why are okay. you smiling? What, so, what are you so happy about? Well, I'm happy to be here with you. And of course, I'm nervous too. Um, so let's see. I tried to take some notes. Um, forgive me. No, you're <laughs> fine. You're fine. This is Wednesday. This is what we so, do on Wednesday. So I graduated from um, LVN, our LPN for you all out that way, um, mm -hmm. in 2005. And so um, I found you in 2013. Okay. Um, I took the exam right after school and I didn't pass. Um, and then I took it again in 2008. Okay. <laughs> I took it again in 2008 before my grandmother passed mm -hmm. and she paid for that exam. Didn't pass. Um, I tried again in 2013 and that's when I found you, but it was, I, I didn't have anything to study by, study with. But anyway, I didn't take the exam then. I just applied, they gave me approval, mm -hmm. and I didn't do it. So um, I just continued to watch your YouTube stuff and was like those folks who wasn't doing anything, wasn't buying anything, but just, oh. just watching you. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. And so then I finally uh, reapplied again, I think, in 2000. 17. And then I had issues. I had issues. Um, the school that I went to, they had closed and they couldn't find my transcripts and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So I continued to watch you, continue to pray. Um, um, my mom always had a saying, she's like, when people mix um, religion with their business, it ain't good. I said, but Regina and Mark, they're good. Like, mm -hmm. I, 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 they're good. Their, their prayers are good. Um, fast forward to today, um, you guys, um, whenever you guys would say your prayers, you know, and also when you added that cultural part in your book and you're asking mm -hmm. like different folks stuff and you're like religion, well, I'm Jehovah's witness. And you were mm -hmm. like, so what Bible do you guys use? And I'm typing mm -hmm. in. Was that you? Yes. And I'm <laughs> typing in another lady and she was asking her husband stuff. Right. And she was like, well, my oh. husband said, and I'm like, mm -mm, I know. This is what it is. It's the New Rose translation, right? So then, <laughs> thank you so much. So thank you. So um, all that stuff, I like that you make it open for everybody, no matter what your culture, um, your religion, yeah. I'll say race, no matter what it is. You, you guys, yeah. you and Mark make everyone feel very comfortable. Um, my kids, they're like, "Wow, mom!" Like for you to watch Regina and Mark all the time, you're going, you're like, you're going over so many of my stereotypes. Like I have issues. I know that. I haven't been diagnosed with ADHD or dyslexic, dyslexia or anything, but I know I have it. I, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's right. right. So, you know, 
with your handsome yeah. husband Mark and his bald head, right? I'm like, oh, bald head. <laughs> you, you like you like that? You like the bald head? <laughs> I overcame that. I'm like, mm -hmm, I can mm -hmm. do it. Um. So, anyways, let me see. Let me see. So, when did you take the exam again? Like, how did you? Wait, let me ask you this. So, all this time, you're just showing up to the re. You're just showing up to study, but you don't take the next step to actually secure the date after you had the issues in 2017 with the school? Like, how did, how did we get to 2023? So finally I got, I, I, I got the help I needed to get the transcripts over from just mm -hmm. prayers and family and everything. So I, I was able to get the information I needed up to state board for them, for me to get my approval. Yeah. So I, I got my approval on, I believe, um, 2022. So in 2022, I bought the VT. The the VT. Printer. Yes. Yeah. So I was studying and everything. Um, kind of like what you spoke about last week and Job and like family and stuff like that. Mm. Um, that talk came right before my exam because my exam was actually on October 3rd, I think. Okay. So I was like, oh, I recorded it. I, I said, Mom, look, look what Remar's talking about today. I sent it to my husband. I'm like, look what Remar's talking about today. Like, what? family, you know, they're sometimes they can be the ones that can be your stumbling blocks. And um, so in 2022, when I got VT, um, I, you know, we had my mom had like squatters at her house and stuff. So, you know, that's hard to see my mom, you know, paying all these bills and squatters are there. So I brought her here with me. And so I was studying and thinking about that, like squatters, are you kidding me? So yeah. it, was just, yeah. <laughs> it was just really hard. Okay. So yeah. then I went to take the test. Um, I think it was March, maybe mm -hmm. I didn't pass. I didn't pass. Mm -hmm. so I like, okay. I'm not giving up. You know, I reapplied right away. Um, I got the V2. Mm -hmm. And um, so I studied it for like three months because, you know, I graduated in 20, 2005. Yes, you had to, so yes, you had to take time. I needed your content. I needed mm -hmm. your content. Um, even though I studied in the VT and didn't and didn't um, pass, it's still yeah. that knowledge was still there. OK. And along with putting it with V2, it just made yeah. it all better. Yeah. So my my kids, you know, like my baby, she would say um, my baby's 30, by the way. So she was saying, you did your baby. How old? 30. 30 years old. <laughs> you got a baby that's 30? I'm holding 25, so she might be 32. But um, <laughs> so she said, she said, well, mom, you know, do, let's do it different. This time when we get your um, quick facts, she was like, we're going to go through it and we're going to like circle words you don't know, no matter what it is, if it's just the simplest thing. We're going to circle that word and you're going to look it up and we're going to get up every morning like she works. She's she works with sped kids and stuff. But she's like, nope, we're going to do this, mom. Like, I wow, you we're going to pass. So this is my new one in camera. Right. Yeah. So I didn't want to write in it. I want it to be all pretty. Right. So yeah, the old me. one in my hair. So uh -huh. I would use the old one. Right. I had looked up everything for March's exam. So everything in here was like all highlighted definitions and everything, oh, wow. right? So I was like, uh -huh. this is gonna stay pretty. No, I'm gonna just go back and forth, all right? So I did that. So then when I got your new book, right? And it had your picture on it. Yes, it do. I was like, I don't wanna mess up that one. I gotta keep that one pretty, right? So then I would use the old one. Oh my goodness. And write all my notes this in it. This is what it looks like. This it's is what it looks like. It's just a mess, right? So then I end up traveling with my husband, right, across the world. And so then I took all my books with me. We had a 24-hour flight, like, you know, with breaks and everything. So in the air, is like 18 hours. Yes. So the whole time, I'm, like, trying to keep this book pretty, right? Because your picture's on there professionally. Regina's picture's on there. I'm going to keep that one pretty. But it didn't work. I ended up having to tape it and all this stuff. Oh, man. But anyway... The end results, um, I went in for that. I prayed before. Um, I went in for that exam. I didn't study the night before. I was talking to folks. I was talking to folks um, on your on our on your winning win discussion days. board or a one the winning typing in stuff, just doop -a -doop -a -doop, typing in, hey guys, I'm taking the test tomorrow. I'm, I'm oh, scared. And then like, like the team is like, yay, like we're praying for you. And you know, and I love when they say our name. Like Jolie, we're praying for you. And even um your remark crew, they're like, 
we're praying for you, right? And then I said, well, should I study tonight before the test? I think that was like the second. And yeah. so your crew was like, no, absolutely do not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, mm -hmm. thank you, I will not. <laughs> so I treated myself to some fattening foods like pizza and desserts and stuff and had a good night's sleep. And um, that's amazing. Everything you talk about having a strategy, having the support, like even for your game nights for um, the university, my kids would be right here like, all right, what's the answer? What's the answer? We're going to get this. I um, love it. And I, I'm letting you tell your story because I think sometimes people don't understand that it's a daily decision and you have to commit to it every single day. You have to show up for yourself. And I love that you have your children, your husband supporting you. You you shouting out Team Remar. You shouting out the other nurses. It literally took a village it to is. get Jolie her <laughs> license. <laughs> <laughs> but we have that village. We have the village. If you don't have a village, we have the village here. I'll, I'll tell you, Professor, my mom, I will listen to you, like your, your stuff, like all day and night. I'm like, it's just going to go in my head. I'm going to memorize this stuff. And my mom is like, you know what? If I hear Remar's voice, and I said her name is Regina, mama. It's Remar because her husband and her name together. But she said, whatever. If I hear her in the mall, she said, I'm going to turn around and say, Regina or Remar? I say, yep. The, yep. Even, the, even the puppies. The, <laughs> they dog, all, the dogs like, know me. <laughs> <laughs> no, and and I, 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 hope, I hope that happens one day. I would love to meet you in person. <laughs> um, in California, uh, I, you know, I, I go there very frequently. So maybe that will happen one day. But let me tell you, on tonight, I am so, so proud of you. Literally, you. I'm so proud of you. You graduated a long time ago. A long time ago. And I know there are people here that, you know, maybe graduated just two years ago and they don't think they can do it. So can you speak to somebody that may be watching and maybe doubting saying, oh, it's been so long for me or I, I don't know if I could do this. What would you say to them? I would say you absolutely can do it and you believe in yourself. And like Professor Regina said, every day is a challenge. It's kind of like today I went to a, a seminar with my husband and one of the speakers was saying like, to race, he was a racer. You have to get up in the morning and decide to put on your shoes. And then that's that's half the battle. You got to get up and get out that door, you know, before you eat or anything. So same with us as studying for this um, NCLEX exam. And like when I'm in the V2 now, I would put before my exam, it, you know, each before each test, it would say like, well, what you're going to title it or whatever, right? Yep. In the end, each of mine became, I can, I will, I must pass NCLEX. Every title says that. And for all of you guys out there, we all can do it. Like, I had so much fun coming here with Remar. Like, we'll be here. And my one night, Remar said, I don't know unless you're from Mars or something. And my daughter said, say you're from Mars, mommy. Say you're from Mars. Yeah. So I'm, like, I'm from Mars. And Remar's like, well, except for that lady that's from Mars. Like, we're all here. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. She's like, I told you, Remar was going to notice that. Professor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. And that just literally speaks to um, your participate, your high level of participation in these classes. Now, tell me, how did you feel taking the exam? How did you feel taking the NCLEX? Was it more challenging than you thought? I mean, when you've taken it before, did you like the next gen? How did you feel? So that's a really good question. So just think I took it in March. Right. Mm -hmm. So then now I took it in October. Mm -hmm. It's not that different. Right. Kind of. Huh. So um. Everything is true what they say. Your questions are harder, which makes it great. Because, okay. I mean, Professor Regina, your Sorry. stuff is hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm, okay, I'm going to turn it down. Oh, oh, we, we have to check that out. We have to, we have to re invite because so many people are saying that, like literally. No, but 10 out know, of 10. For each person who said it, we all passed. There's not one person who came on here who said true. it and didn't pass. True. Um, So, sitting there, and I'm praying and I'm doing, I'm listening to like different testimonials that you guys had. And um, one, you had the guy, I think he was from some parts of Mexico. And yeah, he, had a short, he had a oh. short one and he was saying his prayer and you were like, mm -hmm. oh, oh, we're praying? Okay. But he mm -hmm. said silent prayer first right now. It's funny to yeah. me, but it was good. Yeah. Um, I was like, I'm gonna, my testimony is gonna be longer cause I am with female, you know, but I was like, I wanna be quick. But at the same time, I just want everybody to know how great um, you and Mark are and your whole team. Um, so back to the test. 
So I was listening to another testimony one night and the lady said, I went in the hallway and I looked up at the camera and I was like, I got this. So tip all the other times I've taken the exam, I never like really break. I would just sit there thirsty, everything. Mm -hmm. I was like, nope, I'm going to do like that other remark nurse. I'm going to take my break. I'm going to take my break. So I did. Mm -hmm. um, I had a snack and I drank some water and I'm in the hallway like her though, looking for the camera so I can tell it, right? Like I'm going to say the same thing, <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't see it. So I, you know, I continued to pray and uh, my husband was waiting for me for that five hours outside. Wow. Um, <laughs> but um, anyway, so I went back in after having a drink and I sat there and I was like, I'm going to do this, you know, and um, I didn't sit there much longer. It stopped yeah. like at 80 something. I'm going to say 85, maybe 83. I don't know. Okay. But I was, it had never happened before all those times. So I'm like, wait, what? Like, what just happened? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it just shut off. I was like, oh my gosh, Professor Regina, like she did that. Wow. That's some good stuff you got. Like, I, I can't say it. I mean, right now I have like, I'm starting a TikTok just to kind of help me have some things to do. Like I said, mm -hmm. I, must, I must be dyslexic or something. You're bored. Now you're bored that you're not studying for NCLEX. Now you're going to got nothing still, to do. And I'm still talking about you, right? And I get folks in there like, well, Remar's expensive. I'm like, really? I don't think so. I'm yeah. like, so if you ask me, I say she has the best prices. Mom, even my mom, she said, I listened to Professor Regina and she is doing this out of love. She wants good nurses out there, safe nurses. And that's the reason why your prices are so great because you actually care. Definitely, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. And uh, this, I think, is one of the best, best parts of what we do is when we get to have you come on and literally tell 800, 900 people that you did it and that it's possible with God, it's possible. And I just, um, I just, I, I, I'm just so full of gratitude that you would want to come on here and give your testimony about um, how you did it. How you and did I believe it. you guys. I told my, I was telling my husband today, like he has a juice store and I was like, I, I can sell your juice because I believe in it. Like I love acai berry bowls. I love ginger shots. Like I believe in your stuff so I can mm -hmm. sell it. Mm -hmm. I believe in your stuff. So I can oh, come on here and give my testimonial in real life people, even yeah. though they say we all look alike, you know, yeah. Yeah. but I'm not related. And yeah. real life people to say that you guys have put together a program that's amazing and really helps out. And if you follow your steps and honestly, because I graduated in 2005 and I was back then studying Lippincott, I think, and Saunders okay. and did not do well. Um, I studied every day. I had to study every day, you know, because I, I kind of was like going back to school, you know? Yeah. So yeah. Um, and you and Mark working together as a couple like you don't see that. And you guys you guys are doing a great job. So I beg you guys just keep up the good work and Keep your prices fair because it's so great for all of us. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Um, and I just, okay, that's it. Like, I can't do anything else. This testimony is blowing my mind. Literally, you've been out of school for so long. You've been out of school for so long and you can't, you come on here looking amazing, smiling amazing, <laughs> like, a, like you could be a model and you're going to be a nurse. Where are you going to work? Are you going to work? Are you just, what are you doing? You know, that was another blessing as far as the studying. So my husband had found me a job where I can work from home. And that also helped me with my studying and everything. So, mm -hmm. again, guys, when you're out there and you're studying and you suffer with me where you get bored, even with studying, I would put my ear, my AirPods in. I would be doing laundry, listening to Professor Regina. Then I would go and run and do some work. Um, so with that said, what do I want to do? Maybe work at Kaiser. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you are in California. You can. There's so many things you can do. I, I'm. I, there's so many things you can do, and I love that you have this new future. You have this new, uh, a, a fantastic, amazing, open, open area. You can do whatever you want to do now that you're a nurse. Um, but the hard work had to be done. So I just want to say congratulations to you Thank personally. You. I am Thank happy you. and so humbled that I was able to be a part of this journey. And that I get to see just a small part 
of the seeds that we sow every single day. And um, just, I, I remember the Mars comment, like as you're just speaking, <laughs> it's like, yes, she was there with me. I always that got to her. say, your baby, when she came on, I was telling the baby like, you're funny. And the baby's like, oh, Jolie, you said I was funny. I'm like, yeah. She yeah, like you were you were just there all the time. And so um, you guys that that's what it means to be a part of this family. Like you literally have like family moments and things like that. So I just love it. So I'm going to buy her so, book. I'm going to go buy her book. My mom was like, you got to go buy that baby's book. Oh, you talking about Salome's book? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. She, uh, I, yes. Mm, thank you so much. I got to get the name, but yeah, I'm going to get that yeah, book. I, I definitely, and I usually have one, but anyways, my daughter wrote a book and so I, I just, she's just super proud of it and, and maybe I'll have her come on and talk about it, but um, thank you again so much for everything and just coming back and telling the story. We needed to hear it tonight. The testimonies are amazing. God bless you on your future career. Look at this girl. Look at my family. Why aren't you in bed? Can you, come on. Um, come on. She has come her come book. On. <laughs> well, because, well, because it, whenever you're broadcasting, I stay up usually. She does. She stays up and she watches my broadcast. This is my daughter, Salome. Uh, the Remar nurse. So this is the Remar nurse. And she uh, wants to. Here, let me see if you can hear. She wanted to say that she. Which one is? Oh, you're going to give me this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're, we're twinning it. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. So she, and I want to buy your book. She just passed her thank NCLEX. You. Congratulations. She just thank passed her NCLEX. And so she wanted to buy your book. You want to show your book? She didn't know the title of it. This is, uh, this is what it's called. It's called Sermon Notes for Kids. It's ages 6 to 12. And it says God is love. Mom helped me design the cover. I really like it. Yeah. I think at least you took me like at least a month for it to come back to action. And so what it is, is it's a way for her to stay active and engaged in church when she's there. And so she created just like a sermon notebook for kids. Very good. And then Thank in you. the back, girl in the back, is a, it's an activity book. So, you know, this no, is her great. mother's child. She has like an activity section Beautiful. for kids. I'll and tell you, my, I have three daughters and they're all grown and they are amazing and they when they would go to service, you know, we're Jehovah's Witness. So when we go to the mm -hmm. hall, I would have them doodle stuff and say, whenever they say Jesus, you put a mark. Yeah. Whenever they say Jehovah, you put a mark. So you created a quick book for other children to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. she's, and, she's and, and, and it was pretty cheap because because Amazon provided like the book printing. Mm -hmm. and so you get it on Amazon. You get it right on Amazon. And, and, and they, like, the, the design on Canva, I used my mom's account. What, yep. Which means that it gave me pro services. Yeah, I could use better stuff. <laughs> I'm getting it, and you are so funny to me. And the night that you came out with your mother, I was like, "You're so funny," and you're like, "Thank you." Oh yeah, Thank yeah. You. This girl is a ham. So Thank okay, you. love you. All right, baby, go to bed, please. Okay, because it's late. That's what you don't like. All right, bye, bye. Salam. Love you. Thank you. It Thank is. You real life up in here this is thank family you, thank you guys for sharing <laughs> thank you so much for supporting my daughter and encouraging her because um our children need that they need to feel like they can do anything in this world because literally they can but it starts you know we have to it takes a village and i have three amazing girls and so i, I applaud you <laughs> i applaud you, you. okay Oh, all right, the girls are the ones. And I'm here for you guys anytime, Mr. Mark. <laughs> okay, listen, you pop back on. You know, we got a lot of we had a lot of good things coming up. We got a lot of events. So anytime you see me live, now that we know, all right, now that we know each other, I'm about I will bring you on in a minute. For sure. I'm gonna get my t-shirt. I'm gonna go get my t-shirt. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Thank guys. You, good night. What? Oh, what an amazing, oh, what an amazing time, y'all. Listen, if you want to, if you want to have the testimonials of the Remar nurses, all of my Remar nurses are inside of the V2, where you can get the content that you need to pass this test. I love it. I love it here, guys. I love it here. I'm just so, so amazed. Mm, 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 mm. I'm so amazed at what takes place inside of the V2. And let me say, the discussion boards, you guys can connect when you are saying, hey, do you have a study group? Are you guys studying? What are you studying? In the discussion boards underneath the V2, let me see if I can show you. Uh, let me go here. Like, so if you're in the pregnancy video, right? All right, 
um, underneath the pregnancy video, you will see the discussion board down here. These are all Remar nurses that are, you know, just in there. If you guys need help with questions, I see people saying, hey, what's the answer to this? Uh, where do I get this? And, and so um, make use of V2 because it is there for you, okay? Also, if you're new to the community and you want to know how do I, you know, get connected, we're going to have a family event for the month of October, something I do every October. Scary Topics, Scary Topics is dropping the end of October where people are talking about ghosts and goblins and all type of scary stuff, haunted houses. I got something scarier. It's not being prepared for the NCLEX. Nothing scarier than not knowing what's on this exam. So please sign up for it. It's easy to sign up for it. Go. Let's go to remarnurse.com forward slash scary. And again, the workbook is out. Okay, the workbook is out. This is a scary topic workbook. It's not many pages, but it will be important for you to take uh, the notes because this class is jam-packed. I'm gonna do, um, I'm doing prioritization. I'm doing delegation, grief and loss. And so this, this stuff will actually be, uh, you'll find that it's different from the V2, not different in the main source of information, but the presentation is different. And so sometimes I find that depending on your learning style, you may pick up something one way, but if I teach it in a different way, it may click differently. I don't know. I'm going over prioritization, delegation, some other scary topics, okay? So you will need this workbook because you do not want to have to write out all this stuff, okay? Uh, so if you see, the workbook even looks different than what I usually do. So I don't want you to have, this is a lot to have to write out if you just have a regular workbook, you see? You, so you would only literally be filling in the blank. So it's very important to get this printed out. Scary Topics is in just a couple of days. I already have a lot of people on here who have this workbook. So when you go to the website, I'm going to show it one more time. Remartnurse.com forward slash scary. Okay. And you'll be able to download the workbook. It'll come right to your email. That's how it works. So when you sign up for it, you'll give me like your first name and your second second name, your last name, and your email address. This is a great question. Will it be beneficial in addition to the V2 for next-gen NCLEX? Yes, um, it will be beneficial because it is an additional opportunity for you to hear the content, and it's a live class, okay? And then at the back of it, there are, at the back of this book, you guys will notice that there are questions here. So there's like a couple questions here too that you may not have been asked and they are new questions too. So these are my new questions for the scary topics review. Okay. So get it. It's a free class. You don't have to pay for scary topics at all. You just literally Go sign up for it and I'll send you this workbook and you show up to class like you're doing right now. We're doing a Monday, a Tuesday, and a Wednesday class. So you definitely just need to set your alarm for it and show up. That's it. And I'll probably leave it up um, a couple of days just for people that want to watch the replay. But it seems like most of you guys are already ready. Most of you guys are already ready. So that's amazing. And this, again, this information will be different from in the V2. So I had mentioned this earlier. Please go and like the Remar Facebook page because whenever I'm dropping like a holiday event and things like that, I'm going to put it there first. So if you have any, um, you know, if you want to stay connected, you got to go to the Remar Facebook page. Okay. All right. That's it, guys. What an amazing class. Thank you so much for joining me. We did celiac disease. We did questions. Oh, like I said, smash that like button on our Remar Facebook page. That's what it looks like. I am Remar for NCLEX, often imitated, never, ever duplicated. And so you'll find, find me there. All right. So we did celiac disease. We are uh, on a journey now to scary topics. I will see you guys on Monday another presentation. But again, congratulations to every 
Remar nurse that came on here and said, I can, I will, and I did pass NCLEX. I can, I will, and I did pass NCLEX. We had so many nurses and two of them tonight took the time to give a miracle of a testimony, a miracle of a testimony. So if you are, if you're looking, if you're looking for motivation and encouragement, it's right here. It's right here. So Mondays at noon, I go live. Eastern time, Wednesdays at 9 p.m. I go live Eastern time and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.